We gotta look at the Windblown trailer. New gameplay reveal trailer. Seven hours ago. You're cooking. I'm excited. For the creators of Dead Souls. I already like it graphically. They're doing the outline around you, like sort of cell shade looking character with the 3D environment. Is that a Qatar? That's an axe. That's like a meat cleaver. So remember the devs said that this game was dead cells if it downed 10 Red Bulls. Summer edition Red Bull. I like the blood, like I, it's kind of weird, but the idea that there's blood and vomit is like kind of fun to me. Yo, the training dummy? How long did it take us to get a training dummy in Dead Cells? Headshot. Rhythm game. So we've seen maybe three different weapons. There's a cleaver, there's the katars, and then that was a gun of some kind. That's a spear. That, I don't know if that's like the same as meat cleaver or if like greatsword is something different. They keep showing this where the character like runs across these platform sections. I don't know if like there's anything that the player's doing here. But it's definitely flashy looking. Ooh. So that's a... No, that's a katana. No, that was a kunai. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get like a big shuriken. Paintbrush. Okay, so <laughs> if there's one thing that the Dead Cells devs know how to do is just have different weapons in a game. Like if they could, if the character was just a block, like if this was Minecraft Steve right here, they could still cook because they know how to do different weapons. Wait, what? Maybe that's like a skill? A little bit of bullet hell? This game's supposed to be four-player co-op, too. Looks like a, uh, oh, maybe only three players. This looks like a Breath of the Wild enemy. Um, so this is the bat, and this is a lizard, I believe? Are those like multiplayer combo finishers? You know what this reminds me of? This almost reminds me of like an MMO where there's MMO mechanics and dodging you have to do and like I'm just in there doing damage and everyone else is like dashing around. Okay, we're cooking. We're cooking. I think... I hope there's, like, online matchmaker. I, in a game like this, I would like to hop in with randos at some point. Yes, hit Twitch chat and YouTube as well. I would love for you all to join in. But I also want to see random people play a game like this. So if we assume you have like an ability and a weapon, we assume that getting the ability is the roguelike part where there's different kinds of skills. You just use whichever one shows up first. But I wonder if they will go the next level that Dead Cells did not go. In Dead Cells, you have mutations at best. That might turn you into like bleed on hit or slow on hit, but like that's... That's the bare minimum of what we have in Dead Cells compared to other games where it's like 
after dashing, leave behind a shadow clone that copies your attacks. Or after using a skill, all damage is increased for whatever amount of time. Has nothing to do with the weapon itself, has nothing to do with the skill you picked up. A lot of games go with the pick three, where the three different things fall down and then you choose which one you pick. They did not show that at all. They have only shown pure gameplay. We have no idea how you chose a Qatar, a spear, or whatever else you have. Oh, that was a crossbow, not a gun. I do like the environment. So like that right there? I think the way how the game was touted is that you're going to find ancestors and the ancestor passes on whatever they learn to you. It's like maybe that's what this is. You found the reversal ancestor and all of a sudden now you have the power to go back in time. Right? Only five seconds. Just enough to get your health back and maybe your cooldowns. And like, maybe it just drops at random. And this is the roguelike, where you just happen to get blue star power. And now you gotta go blue star build. I almost think I saw two weapons there. I don't know which one I personally want. Between the current meta, which is pick three, and then draft out what the build is gonna be. Or Dead Souls that we know it today, where like, something will spawn on the map, you either take it or you skip it. And if you skip it, then pray to god something else drops. Okay. What do you all think? I, I do believe they have a game. All right, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I like to get you all the best content that I can. If you want to take a moment, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, ring the bell notifications so you can get those. You could also consider supporting the channel by becoming a channel member. All of those are links which are in the description. Just scroll down and you'll see them. Either way, thanks for joining in and I'll catch you on the next video.